I'm Sarah Jakes. I'm the construction coordinator for the Canadian POE for the Windsor Detroit Bridge Authority. As a construction coordinator, I report on day-to-day -day construction activities and report on progress on compliance for specifications and ensure that the progress is intended. The Canadian Port of Entry connects the 401 or the Herb Gray Parkway to the Port of Entry and in turn to the Gordie Howe Bridge, which will then connect to the I-75 in Detroit. There was a lot of land acquisition that was required to get this, this piece of land. And in order to get this, there's a lot of demolition work. And then at that point, because we are on swampy land, they had to do wick drains. Wick drains basically take the water out of the ground. And there were 187,000 wick drains that had to be installed. Helping the water get out of the ground allowed us not to excavate as deep and have shorter foundations of the buildings so that there was a little bit faster construction. So current construction has been underway since about September 2018. There was a lot of prep work that went into it first, but now there's buildings being constructed. So behind me is uh, the main commercial building and that will house CBSA and CFIA. The next building that is being constructed, which is over there, is the maintenance building. Then behind it is the client processing center. And behind building A here is a secondary inspection building. We are currently starting the primary inspection lanes, so that will help with the inspection between Canada and the US. There is also the large-scale imaging building, which will do inspections for commercial vehicles coming in. There is the salt barn, the hazardous material building. So paving for the lanes will be happening in 2022, but the bridge and port of entry will not be open to the public until 2024. There are activities that are weather dependent. For example, asphalt can't be poured in the winter months, it is only in the summer, but activity on the POE and building does continue throughout season to season. We are definitely ramping up to have a busy construction season. Throughout the summer, we'll do, be doing more interior fit-ups, so we'll be seeing a lot more contractors, as well as a lot more material coming to site. It's been a long road, so to actually see buildings going up has been amazing. The structural seal behind us, as you can see, has taken three weeks to erect. They're currently in Zone A, and they're starting on Zone B, which is right behind me where the crane is. And so to see this go up so quickly is pretty amazing. It means the world. It is kind of, it is a little bit more difficult being a woman in the construction industry, but uh, being able to hold my own and knowing what's going on it really does help in my career. I really encourage young girls and young women to either go into an industry like construction or skilled trades or anything that is more male dominant. It is an exceptional career, it has a lot of benefits, and it brings a lot to the table. I myself like to promote that with children. Um, I've gone to talks to high schools and et cetera, um, and I have always been the only girl in a lot of my jobs, so I've had a lot of years of trying to work my way up and trying to have my seat at the table. So as a Windsor native, it feels amazing to be working on an iconic project like this. I've worked on a lot of projects in the city, but this one kind of lands differently because it is such a landmark.